hello, I'm Martin, alias Konsole, alias Asset Party, and I'm sitting here in my little studio in Weilheim, Germany. So I can say that I'm a really look like a real kid of sampling. When I first like discovered the first people putting some like real audio into a C64 computer I was and you had to load it for like 10 minutes and then you could hear like three seconds of a song. It was just like a very magic moment for me. And then later when the first like um, sample, samplers came on the market that um, weren't like were affordable, I, I just like fell in love with those machines. At that point I was even more into like having a band and playing some guitar like instrument. Yeah, it was just like two things like the computer sampling whatever side and the music side, they came together at some point. And that was when I got really in touch with the notice people and we started working together. So come in. I take care of all the um, electronic, like programming stuff. But also, since everybody in the band composes, I'm also composing songs. It's always like someone's, uh, someone of us is starting to write a song, and it's like it's just going round. So one is starting, and the other one, the other two are adding stuff, and then we meet again and we um, record. And then one of us is taking it back home again to try to find some other things. Everybody's starting to use Ableton for doing this because it's really easy to share the songs and uh, it's easy to handle somehow. We use like um, all the classical band instruments, guitar, bass, guitar, all different kinds of percussions like from Eastern percussion to Western percussion to just whatever, things like a table. Michael is, is collecting organs, so he, whenever he finds a cheap Hohner organ, he tries to buy it and then, so we have a lot of organs and, and uh, make quite a lot of use of, of them. And then different kinds of synthesizers that I um, kind of collect. For the last record we used uh, a lot of um, metallophone and xylophone and then we use tons of, of foot pedals and uh, like we record something and then we reamp it and put it through uh, a guitar amp and through some weird effect pedals. Also we for the last record we used um, we had this orchestra playing, so there were like all the orchestral instruments. It, the list is like really, it's almost endless. Whenever there's an instrument we find interesting, and it's like most of them are interesting, <laughs> I think um, we try to use it. Oh. When I use Ableton on stage, it's a computer and a, a Limo connected, and then I have those two Wii modes, 
and uh, I basically remote everything with the Limo and, and those remotes, so I don't even have a screen or a keyboard attached to the, to the computer. So I load the songs from the Limo and um, change whatever I want to change on, with the Limo and the remotes. I can loop like this. put some effects on it or somehow change the sound. I just put like all sounds through the effect so you can hear it a, li a little better. And it's, yeah, some parameters are set through the, through the remote uh, acceleration. There's no other plugins except the live, the built-in plugins. There's a resonator, beat repeat, delay, um, distortion, bit crusher, yeah. I think that's it, basically. One of the most important things when you work, especially on stage with uh, machines or software, then uh, they need to be really stable because when, when you have to worry if the machine would probably like crash or break down and you can't really get your your head free for like being creative or, or being like trying to improvise. You really have to put this completely away and then you start to really play live. <laughs> Now I think we have, we played around 70 or 80 shows so far with exactly this setup. I can't really remember any anything that went wrong. I guess it's more likely that you have a power breakdown. Someone plugs out the cable and then, yeah, sure, plug out the cable of a guitar amp and you won't hear an electric guitar anymore. <laughs>